Hello friends, welcome back to today's Swahili lesson. My name is Jacinta Mudachi. I'm so happy to be here today. I missed you so much. It's been a while. I was away, but I'm so sorry for being away for too long. If you're new to this channel, karibu sana, karibu sana. You are much welcome. Feel at home in this channel. We learn about Swahili. We make Swahili easy. If you've not had a chance to watch my previous videos, kindly do so so that you don't miss out on anything. If you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing so that you also don't miss out on my next videos because you know, it's going to be cool. It's going to be great learning Swahili language. Um, those ones who are on summer holiday, I hope your summer is going on well. You're enjoying yourselves. You're using that sunscreen to protect your skin, you know. All right. So let's get into the lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about how to say goodbye in Swahili. Remember, in my last class, I promised I'll teach you how to end a conversation or tell someone goodbye after maybe having visited them or having met on the way you finished your conversation. You don't just walk. You have to say goodbye. You have to say something because, you know, if you just talk to someone and then after the conversation, you just walk away. No, no, that word sound good. So let's learn how to say goodbye in Swahili. You're all welcome once again. So um, the word goodbye in English has a very simple phrase in Swahili, which is kuaheri. Kuaheri. So the word kuaheri means goodbye in Swahili. And that's how we, we pronounce it. Kwaheri, 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 which means goodbye. So when you're telling someone goodbye, you don't just say goodbye when you're standing like this. Different people use different ways, different methods to say goodbye to the people that they are parting with. So you can say goodbye when you're smiling or you can hug someone and say Goodbye, I'll miss you. Yeah. So in Swahili, in our culture, we do the same. You have to tell someone goodbye in a good way, not unless it's a bad goodbye. But um, if it's a good one, then you have to say it in a jovial way with full of energy, like you are going to meet that person again. So this is how we say it. Kwaheri, kwaheri, like that. So the word is simple, kwaheri. So that means goodbye in Swahili. So let's see further how to sweeten the goodbye before leaving. So um, there are some words you can add on as you say your goodbye. So the second one we have is tutaonana. Tutaonana. So we have tutaonana. So this word comes from the word honor. So you see this particular uh, part here, honor. Honor means see. Honor, see. Honor is a Swahili word which means see. So if you combine tuta onana, it means we will see each other. So the two here stands for we. And then the ta stands for will. Like uh, you're not seeing each other again immediately, but might be the evening, might be the next day. So that's why we're using future tense because you're not sure the time um, you are going to see that person again. Or even if you're sure, it's not the exact time, like it's a later time. So that's why we're using the future tense. So for Swahili, we use ta, to me, we are talking about future tense. So that's why we say tuta onana. So we say onana because you're seeing each other. Okay? You're not seeing yourself alone. <laughs> you must be two people or more so that you say we will see each other. Okay? So that's how the word comes in. 
tuta onana. I hope you get it. We will see each other. So you both can go together. You can say, Kwaheri tuta onana. Goodbye, we'll see each other. Yeah, that's how you can combine the words together. So let's continue seeing another one. Tuonane. So this one is different from the first one. Slightly different. Tuonane means see you. Goodbye, see you. So tuonane means see you. Tuonane. So the first one, we will see each other. But the second one, tuonane means see you. Okay? Then uh, further, we have some few phrases that you can uh, still use when saying goodbye. For example, you are going to see that person again tomorrow. So like you're saying, goodbye, see you tomorrow. Did you know the word for tomorrow in Swahili? So the word for tomorrow is kesho. Kesho, very simple. Kesho, which means tomorrow. So if you're telling someone, Goodbye, see you tomorrow. Then you can combine the three phrases and say, Kwaheri tuonane kesho. Kwaheri tuonane kesho. And that means goodbye, see you tomorrow. I think that's simple, right? Uh, let's continue. You can also, uh, maybe you want to see that person in the evening. So the word for evening is gioni. Let me write it here. We have G O. Ni, gioni. So the word gioni means evening. So maybe you're going to see that person again in the evening. You have a right to say goodbye, see you in the evening. Kwaheri tuonane gioni. Okay? And then uh, I also have the phrase for morning. Maybe I'm going to see that person or you're going to meet again the next day morning. So you will say asubuhi. So the word morning is asubuhi, asubuhi, which is morning time. Not good morning, but just the morning hours. We say, we refer to as asubuhi, asubuhi, morning hours. Okay? So you can say kwaheri tuonane asubuhi. All right? So I hope you got that. Correctly, it's very simple. So some people, you can go ahead and say, goodbye, see you, God willing, okay? Because maybe you never know what might happen. You're just having hope and faith that you will see that person again. So um, some people in Swahili would say, mungu akipenda, and this means God willing, and some can say, inshallah, inshallah. So if we use that, you can say kwaheri tuonane mungu akipenda, which is goodbye, see you, God willing. Or you can say kwaheri tuonane inshallah. So um, I have both. Some would say mungu akipenda, some would say inshallah. It depends with um, your belief, okay? Yeah. So that's how you can actually end a conversation. Very simple, right? So I'll still go through the phrases for you to understand better. So the first word we have is kwaheri, which means goodbye. Tutaonana, we will see each other. Tuonane, see you. Kesha, tomorrow. Jioni, evening. Asubuhi, morning. And then Mungu akipenda, it's God willing. So if I translate this word, akipenda, um, penda means like or love in Swahili. So it depends with the context of the sentence. So here, if God likes, you know, if God likes. So in English, you just say God willing, okay? So mungu akipenda, it's God willing. Or you can say Inshallah, tuonane, inshallah, okay? Yeah, so that's how you say goodbye. If you have any question, let me know down in the comment section if you got the concept or you need some clarification. And full, sorry, for full Swahili lessons, 
you can find me on italki.com for a very interesting session for Swahili. Thank you so much. Remember not to frown when saying goodbye. Remember not just to say kwaheri, but give it a smile, say kwaheri, the way I'm saying it to you. Kwaheri, to Taunana, Kesha. We'll see each other tomorrow, okay? Till next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.